Welcome to Delta 12. My name is Michael and I am the creator of the open source action RPG game Lango. Well, my game was developed with the help of tutorials from Herpes channel and davidpeace.com website, so I leave my special thanks here. Thanks a lot, guys. Well, to be honest with you, Lango isn't exactly a complete game. I created it from the beginning just as a prototype to serve as an example. So, at least so far, we doesn't have a story or anything like that. So, everything was developed thinking more about what features would be interesting to implement in an RPG style game. Okay, this is the first time in my entire life that I record a video for YouTube in English. So please take it easy with me and forgive my mispronunciation. By the way, if you can leave a sincere comment on how I figured, I would be really grateful. So let's go. Well, we have a simple game save system. So. In the start menu, we have the option to start a new game or load the previous game. We have the beasts that follow us and they have a health bar and drops honeycombs. We can hit the bushes and randomly they can give us gems or hurts. We have signposts, we have chests, we have a simple inventory that we can access by pressing the I key, and we can use potions, we can use the bandana to turn Lango into Liu, <laughs> because of course I wouldn't miss the chance to destroy my enemies with Ladouken! <laughs> Well, our house has an animated door. We can check this map and it shows the current location of Lango. And it opens according to the level you have already visited. Lango can sleep to recover his health. After all, a hero also needs to sleep, right? If the mana runs out, Lango keeps trying to give Laduken but he can't. So that's funny, but it's also dangerous, so be careful. If you stand behind a tree or a bush, they turn transparent, so you keep seeing Lango. We have bombs and secret passages. I think it goes without saying that bombs are dangerous, but in case there is an doubt, <laughs> as you could see, when Lango dies, there is a death animation that starts over on the first map. We also have some cave stages with some bats, but nothing like Laduken won't solve. And we have the Cave of Madness. <laughs> Where the challenge is to find a way out or dying trying. Okay, we have Bernardo House, our NPC, and we have a simple quest system. First, we have to collect honeycombs, then stones, and finally woods. These quests are looted, so the player can back as many times as they want. We have a repellent potion that makes Lango invisible for a few seconds, and we also have two small stores. After all, what would be worth to gather so many gems if there is nothing to spend with, right? You can choose the quantity of items, and then the price is calculated automatically.
and when the item is uh, equipment as soon as you buy it it will disappear from the table and the next time you enter in the store it will have been replaced by another item okay now we have tools to break rocks and fell trees to to acquire rocks and wood we have a simple menu where you ask to save the game and turn off the music if you want. By the way, I muted this video, but the game has a really cool local song by my friend Dark Riven. Let's go to the second store where we can buy the saber that will turn Lango into a Ledai. And well, I'm still broke to buy Cassilda, so I will have to finish Bernardo's mission. Now Lango belongs to the Ledai Order, so we already have our second transformation. And now excuse me, but my axe needs to be used, right? Okay, let me show the save system. So whenever you load the game, Lango will appear at the entrance of the last level it was on. Now I'm gonna explode a few times just for fun. Um, as our boss, we have a big B. And yes, I got lazy and just increased the size of a B, made it faster with more life, and made it drop Bs from time to time. But at least we have a boss in the game, right? What really matters is that it gives a lot of honeycombs and you can make some money on Bernardo's mission. Okay, now we can finally back to the Panda store and buy the latest transformation that will turn Lango into Ligan. And you know, right, a baseball bat works great against walkers, so it's sure to be effective against beasts too. Well, I think we've seen it all, so we can go home and get some hassle, right? Thank you, guys. I hope you enjoy this presentation of Lango Project. See you next time and may the code be with you.